without the faith and the real presence of Jesus for the direction to Barnard Guide. Dito ay makatao siya ng formation na ito ay magkakaroon siya ng mananim na pananaw. So if only all of us Catholics were convinced of the real presence of Jesus at the Eucharist, only then they become apostles. In times na talagang last hour na po natin, yung last recourse na talaga natin ay yung hingit talaga yung awa na Diyos. Following Jesus, who said, I come not to be served, but to serve. Okay, so ayan, mapagpana ang oras, no? Magandang umaga, magandang tanghani, magandang gabi sa lahat po na nakasabaybay sa ating ngayong programa. Kung tukur po ito, at dito po sa Mr. Kiris Catholic. At dito nga po, tulad ng ating sinasabi, isang napaka-espesyal panauhin na naman ang ating na-invite, no? First time po natin na mag-invite ng isang pare para magbigay po ng uh, inspirasyon para sa ating lahat. At para rin po, mabigyan po tayo ng kanyang mga insights o no, pagdating sa ating simbahan. So hindi ko na po patatagalin pa. At narito nga po, let's welcome si Father Tong. Hello po, Father. Hello. Uh, pwede ba kayo magbigay ng kaunting background patungkol po sa kung sino si Father Tong? I am Father Tomas uh, Jasonis Diligana. Junior. Tubong ano po kayo? Taga saan? Dumangas. Dumangas. Dumangas in ang ilo. Tubong dumangas para si Father Tong. No? Isang tinonggo. Of course, tayo din po ay longgo at uh, kaya ang kapanaya po natin siya dahil manapit na po eh, no? ito sa ating parokya. At uh, ngayon po dito po kayo nakadistino sa St. Rita Cascia o Paris Lindo po sa Anilaw. Ilo I graduated out of elementary. Those the way back when I would be in 69. I went to grade 6 and I proceeded to high school. Had St. Vincent Ferrer Seminary for high school and then college. And then still uh, theology. So only in our 20 years in the seminary, I had a St. Vincent Ferrer Seminary. And we graduated in 1970. But since the, the, the book is coming in 1970, so we were then last year of theology so we were ordained when the Pope came on November 20 uh, last week on November uh, we were ordained during the time we were still schooling but as it is supposedly uh, we will be graduating or April but then since the Pope is coming so we were ordained on November 1970 supposedly Mother Adrid Pakami uh, 1971 1970 uh, so we were ordained in November, I've been 17, so we were already priests, what we were still the, uh, the fourth year theology. So, vision is in the Fari Kobayo, uh, 1970. Uh, 1970, we were ordained. We were already priests of oh, yeah. the religion, the last months in the seminary until April 1971. And then we were assigned to the, the different parishes. But then, in my case, uh, it was sort of picked up by Monsignor Kobanglia, director of this. Uh, St. Joseph Junior Seminary training for the seminary to, to be assigned in the parish of three Moena Town po kayo na-assign muna sa seminary during summer 1971 I was assigned to be an uh, uh, assistant priest in in Tugugan in Lilo then I received in the office to be one of the formators in the junior seminary opening classes so 1971 doon ako sa seminaryo sa junior seminary with the high school high school department then St. Joseph Junior Seminary High School I stayed there as a formator 8 years how in the junior seminary so that was my first years of uh, ministry in the seminary and uh, St. Joseph Junior Seminary. 1970, sa mga ako din mo sa inang kao na po kayong pare. I was already celebrating my 50 years in the ministry. Oh, back in uh, I was 23. Medyo mahaba-haba na rin ito. No? Ministerial assignment on his father Don. Father Tom, no? uh, ano po yung naging uh, motivation po ninyo na pumasok po sa pagiging pare? One of the motivations sa so, uh, as an author or to somewhere for the influence Peter to enter the seminary and the encouragement of Father Tavi Fran so maganda pala pong uh, inspirasyon para sa mga bata na maging author sir here and another sa pa na sumapalapit sila sa simbahan o mga nanilang town po ba yun na nag-serve bilang altar server been the five great things for two years as, as an altar server till we now barangay father's church ilan po ba yun na pumasok sa seminaryo at uh, ilan po ba yun na nakagraduate we were then 30 first year high school regular we mean more uh, a year after there were two or three years 
schools up there that were high school graduates, so they were promoted. So then, because some of them is a third year, fourth year high school, I can't remember any more bullets in one that would be a bus. We did an accident, so, so 30 of us. But okay, so theology from the 30, and now being as a salmon, only three of us, so regular original classmates, that low lack of beat, and the old day, and the old day, at the Luneta of Manila, Pope Paul the six, now Saint Paul Bones the six. As if no madalas na sinasabi ng iba, may irap kasi maging pare, kasi nung worst yung training siguro sa seminario, and plus yung mga expenses, no financial. Pero ano po yung secreto ninyo, bakit po ba yung nakata? Was a pretty valid. You remember well when I graduated in high school, there was nothing to follow me from my superior to say that don't proceed to to college. But then on the last day that I stayed at seminary, the rector oh to us don't come back anymore. I did that. I did also no. In the which like sabi na you are not only five words for college. You just simply don't come don't come back anymore. Just like that. So hindi man ako pinanabas, hindi man ako on something. No, you test na. So I came back, uh, back opening sa first year college. So wala man, sabi ang Victor, told me not to come back. And there, doing widely sa college, I can't remember kung di ba natin may anong survive kung namin from high school. Uh, after the graduation in high school, at nanglabasa si na. Those who graduated sa college naman, since you have the degree of major in philosophy, so some of us left. And then they applied some uh, unichanging universities, some in, uh, in Babolo, in Migo, you know, who be the graduate which a seminary that would be a uh, you know good qualification but it be shan pero ano po yung pinapasigurado ko na of going it there to magail doon sa upper as a seminary the time from the very start every and being the desire would become a twist the influence may my mother being uh, out our night so yun ang man kailap in space akin pero piso talaga yung napaka importante pala yung desire na sa tapusin talaga yung pagiging pare so ay uh, ibig sabihin po ba yung mga hindi nakatapos ay maybe distracted sila or or by iba silang board was shoes so hindi natin alam no pero uh, mapana talaga yung mga nakakatapos sa pagiging pare and of course uh, I know father nagkabaroon na ng shortage kumbaga no sa bida ng mga pare ngayon ano po yung masasabi ninyo sa mga kapwa natin katoliko na lalo na po sa mga kabataan na gusto rin kong pumasok sa pagiging pare the love to serve in initial siguro may mga the likings sa mga things sa church closeness to the body swings then seeing also some other ways in the church if the bed Looks along the way in a school class, eh? Parang making yourself comfortable yeah, already in the church. So, bagay po nang sinasabi ninyo na maging aktibo dito sa simbahan dahil isa rin po yan sa mga indikasyon na talagang gusto na Diyos sa iyo ay yung magtrabaho sa simbahan, no? Magbahagi ng ipanghelyo. Para po sa tanaman po nang nakakarami, ano po yung devotion ngayon ni Father Tom, no? Ipiniforso na minsahe para sa mga kapatid natin. Especially to the young people in the life of which is the life of service, following Jesus who said I come not to be served but to serve it becomes a challenge you know, and along the way so many trials so many hurdles where we put to test and be assigned now but be assigned in the parish gives you the strength to go on the senior putting yourself under God's care, under God's guidance. So, but of course, there were so many temptations, so many trials, instructions, but thanks God, I survived him. Yes. And it was in the name of the Samina, okay, okay, na yung mirat. So, along the way, soon in England. So, parang uh, sinasabi po ni Father Tom, no, na you really need the dedication at the same time, you really need to have a strong faith sa ating kaminoan. Kasi kung wala rin naman ang pananampalataya, sino ba yung pag-ugugutan natin ng natas para magpagpatuloy no, sa ating mga ginagawa. Father Tom, nakita ko po sa suot ninyo, parang na uh, divine mercy, no? Kayo po ba, uh, isa rin po sa mga nagpapanaganap ng devotion na ito, yung divine mercy? Uh, one time, my classmate from Texas gave me some books on Divine Mercy. Through that time, so I kept the, uh, the, the books uh, for years. I did not read it. But then, in the last parishes that I served, I learned about the Divine Mercy. But no, no attraction that I have to answer devotion. And then, after that, I signed an the parish, very strong on the devotion. And I did that time, and the propagation of the devotion was very strong in Mordo. And then, after Mordo, I signed in Bodotan, I encountered this group, Lack of Divine Mercy. Or walang with much attraction science, devotion. Before the 
Other than in Mordor, there is uh, a lady who suggested we not devotee of divine mercy. Father, adap ka ng isang lugar to be at area. Well, tatayo ang anda. Chapel to the divine mercy. So, para wala lang sa saan. When I'm not so in the city, there is no place. But it's in my mind, is something and chapel must be something. All right. And elevated siya on a pew. Came to my mind, is that the place in Tolino. So, may mga hills doon, mga mountains. And then actually, there's some place that donated to me, owning the area donated to me. These three lots came back to my mind. Na okay, this is nice. It's an act. Yeah. But knowing that this lady had the two other sisters, but also devotees of uh, Divine Mercy. And then one is a retired, I think, teacher. One is a retired nurse. While in Dodotan, the start coming, sounding, putting up the, the chaplain in, in Tolino with the money left by that, that lady, the sister in Canada. So, Sigi brother, Sigi, uh, I remember that for the last night, and then uh, we had this chapel in Galino, and then uh, hopefully this will be a shrine for the Lord of Divine Mercy and the mother of the Ketodal. So, the owner of the, the lot wanted to have also a, a big a statue of Our Lady of Perpetual Health. Uh, so now, this chapel is named after the honor of, of the Lord of Divine Mercy and Perpetual Health Chapel. We are now close to the area of the Rigway and Sanapita in the Kalino. It's a beautiful no, lugar where it's a beautiful place. But the chapel, no, it's like a symbol of the Kalino. And then, of course, there are also shrines of the uh, Baby of Perpetual Health and uh, Divine Mercy. And so, is that one of the things that you have to promote the Divine Mercy and the Lady of Perpetual Health? So, how do you promote the Divine Mercy and the Lady of Perpetual Health? yan makakatulong sa mga kapwa nating katoliko. Okay, so I, I really fall in love with the devotion. All the while, I was searching for what is behind sa devotion of the Bible Sea. The damage na, no? One more flat. Of the Van Mercy, Van Bonning, Moscones, Van Zubaini, and then also I was searching for something, you know, deeper. Sinuli ni sila na nag-devotion. And what came to my mind is actually the, the formation of this people with this devotion. So I, I was out there uh, looking for a program to sustain, you know, devotion is just a devotion. I mean, I don't know, when I grow, is there sense uh, sustenance, a big program, formation, some mga members, so that it is a devotion. Devotion, but read the life so molding the life as good Christian as Christian with this devotion sa divine mercy and mercy. So, kayo po sa kanino, ano na po yung mga activity na ginagawa po ninyo bilang isa po sa mga nagpaparaganap ng devotion ng divine mercy at sa pamay sinasabi po kayo na formation, ano na po kayo yung mga ginagawa natin para sa uh, maiparating ito sa mga kapatid natin katolik. So, we have a chapel, okay? we have the uh, giant image of the divine mercy. Now, the ongoing construction of meeting morning that can accommodate a large number of the members growing. So, Father Johnny Territorio, who is the, as there is son, the director for this Divine Mercy, is encouraging me. So, you put up a building, something, that can accommodate a good number of our members so that we can have a program for the whole year now for formation, a meeting place. And this is the project. This will be dedicated to, say, John Paul the second of that book it the different motor for the devotion and Saint Faustina one scapboard. So Saint John Paul the second and Saint Faustina one scapboard. So uh, many but pala sa Divine Mercy Shrine meron din chapel at uh, meron na may yung perpetual heart at meron na may yung ongoing project na mythic jewel. So talagang napakanaki pala ng mission talaga na na inyong devotion na ito ang grupo na ito sa Divine Mercy kasi manakihang participants si Simala pa akomodate doon. Okay, sa mga kapatid po natin na uh, pupunta po doon sa trial or doon ko sa gusto mag-participate doon sa ginagawa formation. Ano po yung makakanta nila na improvement sa kanila sarili? Paano makakatulong sa kanila? Okay. As I encounter this book, Senegal Formation Manual that was given to me by my classmate from Texas, I really like the manual, the formation, but a program. Program. So, uh, so these are three manuals, three books, which I would like to follow. So now, uh, we are discussing the coming up a program para na may sustenance, may growth, growth formation 
for the members. So hindi lang mga pamilya ni student that just uh, be a simple devotion saying the chapnet, the sini of not prayer, but to really build up there must be a formation may sa uh, sa members. This way ang um, program matadamp up sa BEC, basic education community, Singapore. Oh, papagay yung tao po dito na mag-participate dito ay makatapos siya ng formation na ito ay magkakaroon siya ng mananim na pananaw in board po sa devotion ng divine mercy at sa pasa simbahan natin. So, in a capsule siguro, the identity of the group and then by the shepherding, we will be borrow the name of the Eucharistic Apostles of Divine Mercy. I really like this uh, identity, Eucharistic Apostles of Divine Mercy. Napit po yan paragang pinipinik ni. Because I was struck by this Eucharist, me and the Catholic, our life must be based in the devotion from the real presence of Jesus in the only Eucharist. Without the faith and the real presence of Jesus, Chubanan, the Linus, what a direction, direction, we are not guided. So this very foundation for me, for this devotion, the real presence of Jesus and the Holy Eucharist. Sa tanagang sa formation na ito ay maniban sa nagkaroon na sila ng devotion sa awa ng Diyos, ay mas mapapanapit pa sila sa tunay na presensya na ng ating Bainon, which is the Eucharist. So dito, wala po tinutuwaan yung mga kapwa natin, katunik ko na talagang pumunta sa simbahan at talagang yung magsambahan. But, you know, the highest prayer that we have in the Catholic Church is the Eucharist, the Holy Mass. So if only all of us Catholics we are convinced of the real presence of Jesus, the Eucharist, only then we become apostles. Apostles. The Eucharistic apostles. And then we have to be an apostle without true devotion and true faith and the real presence of Jesus and the Holy Eucharist. So that we type you, that we inspire you and which give you, challenge you to be an apostle. Being so talagang tinutuan po yung mga kapatid natin at hindi lang sa pagiging katoliko lang sa biyahad at pulungin na katulong sa talaga practicing katavisin. Kasi magiging apostle sila ang magiging pagkasunod talaga na ating boy noon Christmas bread, no? O sa last bread. So talaga napakaganda po ng mga kakirius ng mga kakuntos ng invention o ano na mga goal no, ng ministry na ito ni Father Don no, na magkaroon talaga ng formations para sa mga kapatid natin at mahubok sila pabalik sa tunay na presensya na ating Panginoon which is the Holy Eucharist. At dito nga po ay talagang mas pinabalapit pa tayo sa awa ng Diyos dahil mayroon na tayong binabawag na devotion sa Divine Mercy and of course our daily of our lady of fervent world help. So parang January is the one create of petrol help and then the divine mercy uh, building the child and yes. the mercy of God is what we're yeah. And so something to the uh, to the world this all the shana is a vision of the world the devotion like I know they make like, uh, the devotion and so talagang uh, napangaganda po ng intention ni Father Tom no at uh, kabilang bit po tayo doon sa mga naka-experience na uh, kagandahan talaga ng formation na ito kasi narinig ko rin po at nakita ko rin po sa mga social media na kanda kayo ng mga youth recollection and world encounters sa mga kabataan doon sa eskulahan no, at uh, based on feedbacks ay talagang napakaganda po ng impact sa mga kabataan Nito. Bakit niyo po yung naisipan at bakit niyo po yung ginagawa? When the challenge for me, personally, is a face, I am retiring and if the hell, no, so in focus, but it's hard, but not tired. Uh, okay. So, so uh, sabi ko sa obispo, I will focus, I will spend the rest of my years and the ministry propagating the devotion to the divine mercy. But then, it's not simply a devotion. A back of devotion, oh, okay na, no, okay na, no, no. lahat ng jealous and then devotion. Feel all of something na naga the challenge, formation of those having the devotion. Okay, and devotion, that's why you can stick a life when they founded the present of Jesus and the Holy Eucharist. And then, you bad just simply say that, love me, the Holy Eucharist until being pushed with the inspiration to, to share sa raat or by being an apostle. Some challenges as for me. She's just simply a devotion but it's really a way of life for the members. When I'm going to witness, eh, diba? to witness the real presence of Jesus, then you go. Pakilara, kaya pakilara, hamusan na. I will seek apostles of divine mercy. This is the message, let me say. Of being an apostle with the strength of the Holy Eucharist uh, being sent What is the message? The love of God to save us on and the master of the courses, we buy mercy with. So I like to go to that.
Tama ka po, no? Isa rin po yan talaga sa mga nagpa-inspire din po sa atin, no? Dahil po yung Divine Mercy, tulad nga po nang sinasabi din po sa diary ni San Paul Irina, in times na talagang last hour na po natin, yung last recourse na talaga natin ay yung hingit talaga yung awa ng Diyos. Dahil tayo po ay makasananan, tayo ay hindi worthy na pumasok sa kaharian ng Diyos. So, dito nga po, talaga papasok yung tinatawag natin ng awa ng Diyos. Dahil kung nandoon na po tayo sa awa ng Diyos, kahit gaano pa kanakin ang ating kasalanan, ay talagang bibigyan tayo ng biyaya ng Panginoon sa kanyang awa. So, Father Tom, no, I know, hindi lang po kayo yung nag-initiate yan. Ano na nga, marami siguro ang involved yan. No? Dahil malapihang project po yan at malapihang mission po yan. So, paano rin po na-form yung ganoong group? Basing on my experience in the ministry, you know, God is so good. So, every time na may maisip kayo naman mga something like mga projects, so God provides and God is sending people I really believe in that you know this way wow how come I'm gonna paano paano ito na ito na oh for all of them and then na dyan na for the love paano and Siguro rin ang pagkat probatics of the pero ay may mga may mga tao just like this as um, we are conducting a youth encounter sa so, uh, schools parang wala how to start or whatever so just if they don't know that nearly tower na then dyan man no or kung that's smart so makikita talaga natin na kapag maganda po yung intention ni Wal yeah I'm just that again and then yeah then no fun how it is a fun man then it is his work Tama, tama, no? So, so ay, makaka-curious talaga mismo yung mga tapo natin katolik ko na may kakayanan, no? Na tumulong, no? Ay nakikisa din sa vision ni Father Tom na ubogin yung mga kapwa natin katolik ko. At isa rin po ako talaga sa mga na-motivate ni Father Tom na talagang gipromote din po yung Divine Mercy kasi ako rin po ay member ng Black of the Divine Mercy at dito po rin po nakilala si Father Tom at doon ako, no? Mas na-motivate na talaga na mag-participate sa ganitong mga gawain. Kasi tulad ko ni Father Tom, alam na na niya talaga kung ano itong impact para sa mga kapwa natin. Nano labo na po no, sa mga kapwa natin katolik ko na wala pa talagang strong relationship sa kunay na presensya ng ating Panginoon. At Father Tom, no, since you have an ongoing project po doon na uh, building para po sa meeting call, I know it requires a large amount of money din no, na para mabuo yung building. So sa mga kapwa po natin ditong katolik ko na baka gusto rin pong gumulong at gusto rin po makisa sa mga vision po ninyo na magkamag po ng meeting call at makagather ng maramihang tao para magkaroon din po ng formation sila at maganda rin ang lugar na kanilang pagsasagawa ng formation. Paano po sila makakonect po sa ito? Or paano po sila makakontak po sa ito? Ascend din ng kanilang tulong and support sa inyong mga ginagawa. So as we good, we have this kind of reaching you, appealing to your kindness to support us. So the programming, I mean, the person lang, I keep going in, send us your hand. Of course, we're now and then give you the progress of the project and even perhaps be the U.S. of the Prime Chamber at the Sviya time. They have provided that the May account name and the, the bank with the account number and there are four ESO donations, a broad dollar donations. So it is there we will be reaching you. So this is the letter for the project. There is still a big amount when we start two weeks, two weeks pa lang, we started with building. So it follows. But then every time I see the mass every first Friday in the chapel but the hearing in the sea. Yes, with the support team, so I'm supportive sila uh, with that experience, be with them in the parish, in my projects, uh, never afraid you with their support. So, it is our project, it is not my project, it is our project, uh, it is your project, Jay, but the community. So, I have my fears, isang manaking goals talaga ito, no, mission para po sa atin, then uh, supportahan din po, no, yung mga advocacies na mga kaparian natin, lalo-lalo na po, kung ito talaga ay makakapagbigay ng magandang impact para po sa ating mga kapwa katoliko, at lalo-lalo na po, no, sa ginagawa ngayon ni Father Tom na building para po na makapagodid na manami ang tao. And of course, Father Tom, no, dahil marami rin po tayo mga kapatid dito no, na talagang na supportive, no, especially sa ating din vlog na ginagawa sa mga vlogs ng mga kapatid natin. So kahit sa ganitong parahan, ginabahagi rin na nila support time. And I know sa mga tagapanood po natin dito, ay nakita nyo rin po yung uh, talagang napakagandang intention ni Father Tom at ang pakagandang vision nito no, para sa mga kapwa natin katolik ko na magkaroon ng formation sa devotion of the Divine Mercy at the same time sa real presence of Christ no, in the Holy Eucharist. So maaari po kayong makapag-abot din po ng inyong tulong. No? At dito nga po, no, ilalagay po natin sa ating screen yung uh, Bang Afan de Father Tom sa mga nais rin kong pang-support sa kanya. Ito po'y directly na talaga na mapupunta sa project dahil mismo si Father Tom na rin po ang nagmamanage noon. At siya na rin po doon nang so-supervise sa pagpapagawa ng meeting call. To make sure na yung mga binibigay po natin na uh, mga support no, na tulong 
ay talagang napupunta po doon sa project. At katulad nga po ng sinasabi ni Father, magkakaroon talaga siya ng uh, updates no, every week sa mga progress ng buildings na no, makikita niyo po doon kung uh, saan na napupunta. So, supportahan po natin mga kapatid, mga kapiris, kung nga po kasi ni Father Tom, no? I know, nakita niyo rin po ang kanyang maganda intention at ito rin po yung mga hinihintay natin na pagkaroon tayo ng mga pari na talagang aktibo no, sa pagpapanaganap ng mensahe ng ating Panginoon. So, ayan mga kapiris, at uh, talagang isa na pag- gandang experience to learnings na ating uh, narinig dito sa ating Catholic Podcast at uh, ito nga po sana ay nakapambigay din po ng inspirasyon sa inyo at isa rin po sana ito sa mga maging kaparaanan no, ng ating Panginoon upang maipapot din ang kanyang pag-ibig at awa no, sa ating mga kapwa at oligo. Ayan, so bago po tayo magtapos, of course, ano po yung pagwaling mensahe din po sa mga kapwa natin katoliko na nanonood ngayon sa ating podcast. So, as I said, anytime we leave this parish of Aninglao and then resign na po, but then then not tied on uh, propagating the message of love of God through the devotion of the divine mercy. Do I not be joining the past uh, remaining years of my life? I will spend it for this devotion. And of course, as we said, helping those with this devotion, not only having the devotion, but really having the growth in, in the faith of the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist and be sent to the old world to play evangelize and to experience the love of oh God through the devotion of the Lord of Divine Mercy. Thank you very much. Ayan. So, lonely po, Father Tom. Sana po ay talagang malayo po ang marating ng inyong advocacy, no? ang inyong mission para sa mga tapa natin yung katolo po. Ayan po, mga periods, no? maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pansubaybay, kapapuntos. At uh, kung nagustuhan niyo po ang video na ito, please like and share. Ibahagi niyo po ito sa mga kakilala ninyo, sa mga kapatid po ninyo upang mas manawa pang mabot natin at mas marami pa ang ma-scar natin sa ating pananampalataya katolo ko. So, huwag niyo po kalimutan, eh, follow and subscribe niyo po yung mga kapatid natin, mga kas- Sama natin dito sa Kundo Burbo ito at sana ipananangin nyo rito na may pagpatuloy din natin ang mga gawain nito. So muli po, this is Mr. Curious Catholic kasama po ninyo sa pagtatanggol ng ating simbahan. Proto yung Eteklesia. Sa Diyos po ang lahat ng kapuriyan.